What's up, Internet? My OLED monitor is one year old this month, and I know because I have a Notion page obsessively tracking when I buy my gadgets. OLED provides superior image quality, pero yung tanong, pang matagalan ba siya? Is it as durable? Does it last as long as the other type of panels? And there's a whole subsection of YouTube just devoted to problems with OLED monitors. For today's video, we're going to go through the four basic, most common problems and see if my ROG PG48UQ OLED ever encountered any of those problems. Do I have any problems with the monitor now? And the basic thing that I do, which a lot of people don't do, which I think contributed a lot to maintaining the health of the monitor. Because spoiler alert, it is still 100% even after one year. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may cdkey ka na para sa windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Of course, the number one concern is dead pixels. How many dead pixels does my 48-inch OLED monitor have? Zero, I am happy to report. So it's been a year. And usually these kind of things are very clear when you look at videos of other OLED monitors that have run into problems. Usually sa gilid, nakita mo na ilang mga black dots di na display dead pixels. Going around the border though, even looking wherever on the screen, walang problema. All of the pixels are still in tip-top shape. And usually dead pixels are very easy to spot. Nothing to spot here because all my pixels are still alive. Second concern for OLEDs is that generally they don't last as long. The brightness tends to go down, the image doesn't become as sharp, the screen becomes dull. So it's very nice to look at at the start. Yung problema, over the long run, things start to go downhill. Now the best way to test that of course would be to have a side-by-side -side test between two different OLED monitors, preferably the older one right beside the newer one of the same type of panel. And in a really nice coincidence, I was able to do just that. Kasi pinahiram ni ASOS yung pinakabago nilang ROG OLED monitor, yung ultra-wide nila. Which is basically the same kind as my monitor, except naka ultra-wide format. But I think the panel is basically the same. Everything looks very similar between my PG48UQ and the ultra-wide monitor. Pero yung ultra-wide, bagong-bago. Side-by-side side though, I could not find any difference in image quality. The two screens looked amazingly just the same. Especially when I used the same presets together. Yung mga monitors kasi ngayon, may mga presets if you're doing a racing sim, if you're doing movies, if you're doing different kinds of games. So the monitors will look different, of course, if the settings are different. But once you match settings between the two monitors, magkapareho lang sila. I could not notice any difference in quality. In a sense, kasi medyo overhyped yung concern na mabilis masira yung mga OLEDs. Generally, OLED panels are rated for around 100,000 hours of use. To put that into perspective, let's say I use my monitor 6 hours every day. There will be, of course, power users that use their monitors a lot longer. 12, 15, di talaga pinapatay on all the time. But I think 6 is a generous number to be using. That's already one-fourth of a day. If I use it for 6 hours every day for one year, that's only 2,190 hours. And then assuming it lasts nga around 100,000 hours, it can go 40 years plus bago siya mamatay. Depending on how long I live, baka maunahan ko pa yung ROG PG48UQ. 
Number three, one of the major concerns for OLED is burn-in or watermark. If you leave something on the monitor, a static image for too long, maiiwan yung image na yon or ghostly traces, outlines of that image, even though nagbago na yung dine display mo. But after obsessively going through the surface of my monitor, it's safe to say that, that there is no burn-in. When I turn the monitor off, everything is black. When I'm playing games, when I'm watching videos, when I'm doing work, everything is as it should be. Walang na one on screen. And the fourth most common concern about OLEDs is that their brightness just isn't enough. Supposedly, it can only brighten up specific portions of the screen and this is especially pronounced pag malaki yung monitor mo. Well, I have a 48-incher which is quite large but I have no problems with the uniformity of the brightness. The screen looks vibrant. It's bright in all the right places. For quality, for me, di mo matalo yung OLED experience. And of course, that extends to the lighting or the brightness of the monitor. And this is even when I have the monitor in front of a window. So when I'm looking at the monitor, some of the sunlight is also filtering onto my face. And yet, I never feel that the monitor is too dark or cool lang siya sa brightness. Now, I did have one particular problem with this monitor which I mentioned in a September video. Dati, randomly lang siya namamatay. Like, the screen would go completely black. But I knew that the computer was still running because my other monitors were still displaying. The computer was still responding. Plus, usually, nangyari when I was gaming, I could still hear the game. So, buhay pa ako in game. Hindi na crash yung computer. Nag black lang yung screen. It was annoying, and I said so in the September video, but not life critical since it wasn't happening on a very regular basis. Sporadic siya. But a helpful comment on that video mentioned that there was a new firmware update for the monitor, and that update should fix the problem. And yes, it fixed the problem. The monitor no longer randomly goes to sleep. So this is really kind of a boring video because I have nothing to report. After one year of continuous use, walang problema sa OLED monitor ko. But there is one thing that I do which I don't think a lot of people do that might help you if you're trying to maintain the quality of your OLED monitor. The common advice would be to turn off the monitor. I can't do that because I currently have four displays attached to my computer. And if I turn off the OLED monitor, Nasisira yung spacing ng ibang mga programs. Sanay na ako where each window is. So yung isang browser ko nandito sa kanan, yung chat ko nandito sa vertical monitor. Each window has its place so that I'm super productive when I'm working. Price list ni Hardware Sugar nandito sa unders lang monitor. Cryptocurrency ko nandun pa sa isang window. Everything in its proper place. Nasisira yun when you turn off the monitor. Everybody's spacing gets out of whack. So what I do, I change the display. So I manually, on the monitor, select a port which is not being used. I do use display port for my monitor. Easiest way to make sure that you're getting the proper refresh rate. So I deliberately select it to HDMI. Walang nakakabit sa HDMI for that monitor. So when the monitor goes looking for an input, it can't find any and the screen goes blank. So I am obsessive. <laughs> about making my screen go blank. Tatayo ako to go to the bathroom. So that's a three, five minute break. Usually, I will make the screen go blank. Again, not turn the power off, but select an input that I'm not using. Because I want the screen to go blank to preserve the health of all those pixels, to preserve the health of the OLED panel. So I never leave my monitor display on when I can help it. For some people, that might be a concern because I keep toggling it to an input that's not there. Baka masira yung controller or something internal sa monitor. I've been doing that for a year because I have had a multi-monitor setup even before I had this OLED monitor. And for quality of life, it's just not doable to have to resize all of the windows and move them into the proper position every time I turn off the monitor. So, as long as I've had this monitor, I've been doing that input trick and so far, no problems. No problems with the display itself. No problems also switching it to an input multiple times a day where there is no actual input. There is nothing plugged into my HDMI port on the monitor. So I'm super happy with the ROG PG48UQ. It's true that I got to try a 49-inch OLED also from ASUS and that was pretty spectacular. We'll talk about it in an upcoming video. 
on which type of monitor I find to be the best. Yung ultra wide or yung classic type of panel, but you know, larger, 48 inches, got 42, mga ganon. Medyo mahal tong monitor na to. And para sulit, I need it to last for a long time. Pero sana naman, I'll outlive it instead of the monitor outliving me. Thanks for watching. And one last tip, be sure that your monitor is completely turned off when you're not using it. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.